Well, you know, it's that time of year again, time for those summer camps. And this summer, the Girl Scouts, they have everything you need in one location. So I visited the folks at Camp Kiawe in Sophia this morning and got a preview of what they will offer this summer. Katie Tiemann was my guide. Take a look. I mean, are you kidding me? Did you ever go to camp? Because this says camp, right? That's what it's all about. Katie knows that very well because you're running things out here. As I, I trip am. And fall on it's you. okay, so please. Uh, <laughs> it's camp. It's what yeah. you're supposed to do. Um, what will happen here this summer? This is a big deal. It is a big deal. So we have girls ages 6 to 17 coming out to camp, and they'll do a traditional sleepaway camp and um, spend the night with us and do a lot of great activities, arts and crafts, boating, um, climbing wall, archery, all the typical things that you would do that you think about when you think about summer camp. And horses. Lots and of horses. Lots of horses. We do have lots of horses too. Um, you know, so it's fascinating to me because every when I just come out here, it just brings back a lot of memories. These are memories that they'll keep forever. Forever, yeah. You will always remember your either your first time at summer camp or your 10th time at summer camp. And like the great thing about a lot of our staff is they were campers here too. And so they've spent 12 summers here oh as God. campers and now they're staff members. So they have the love for camp. And were you, I think you were talking to me earlier about the number of volunteer hours. Some of these people have been volunteering before they were ever, now they're on staff. Exactly. Which yeah. says a lot about the organization. It does. And so they, they just love being out here during the year and they're like, can we come home for a weekend? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, please come and spend some time with the girls and spend some time out at camp. So I bet this will look a lot different in a few weeks when it's filled with all these yes, girls. Yes, on Sunday. So on Sunday we're expecting about 150 girls. Wow. And so it's going to be loud and chaotic and you're going <laughs> to hear songs and screaming and just like, just so much excitement in the atmosphere and it is I mean the typical camp experience when I think of it that fire pit like all the, this is this yeah. is everything that says camp exactly they'll be cooking over on, uh, the fire on Wednesday <laughs> night and then they'll be making their breakfast on Thursday morning and they're gonna go home tired and dirty and full of great stories it's perfect yeah. tired and dirty that's what camp is exactly yeah, for goodness sake yeah now you know where to send your girls this summer Tired and dirty. Uh -huh. That's what she said. So funny. Um, it, it's if you've ever been to camp. As soon as I set foot on this, and mm -hmm. you look in those cabins, it just brings back so many memories. But they do um, day camp, or if you just want to go mm -hmm. take your kid for the day, like a eight to five kind of thing. Don't quote me on the hours. Um, and then they'll do like a three night type thing, and they also do a week, so you can choose the level of involvement that you want. But they said. Uh, probably a majority of their staff members have either been to camp there or volunteered for 300 hours and then end up getting hired. And that's usually how it works a yep. lot of times. I was a Girl Scout, I was a Brownie and a Junior, and during my junior year, I got to do like a two night camp situation. And a lot of our camp leaders and counselors were Girl Scouts at one oh, point yeah. too, but it really builds character, you know, having to take showers out there and you know, you get to learn how to cook with the fire and all that, it's a great time. A oh blast. yeah, I did something similar, it wasn't with Girl Scouts, but did an overnight camp for a week back home and it was such a fun experience. The bathroom part was not a yeah, right, that, that, right. that part is interesting. Sharing with everybody, <laughs> but I'm sure all these girls are so ready. I don't know if it was probably, but I would assume it was probably canceled the past two years because oh, of yeah. COVID. Oh, yeah. So they're probably ready to get back to camp and see their friends. Well, and they also have 20 horses and a donkey. Mm. <laughs> and she said that they have to actually, you know, they have people that live at that camp year round to take care of those animals. So it, it's a huge deal and the, the girls get experience. Oh, and you do not have to be a Girl Scout to attend this camp. Oh, okay. Need to make that clear. You don't have to be. So this is a treat and definitely a treat for parents too. They can send their kids off. Yeah. Have a lot week of fun. Off themselves. By the time that they come home, they're tired and ready for bed. It's exactly the way you want it. <laughs>